it's like what can you even do with you know painting colors or what what's the main hook and then all of a sudden they just decide to like pad in layers of the rainbow <laughs> yo what's up everybody it's your boy don here your dance mentor and welcome to the dance workshop series where we get to dive in a little bit deeper and find the pocket of these k-pop music videos and their dance routines uh, in particular, today we will be checking out and starting our new journey with Luna. Technically not new. Uh, again, like as you guys know, this is a group that I am quite familiar with. But I don't really check out their solo practices, um, at least. And I know some members don't really have dance practices at all. So we will just be watching the ones at least that have dance practice and, and sort of dive into that. A little bit more deeper so just to you know make sure like I I'm kind of fully inside of this song I did read up the lyrics beforehand just to get a better picture you know maybe we might get some wordplay in the choreography that I, I don't really pay attention to as much so that way and like I'm not just you know here to just react and it's like oh yes I know what's going on <laughs> But hopefully I might find something new or, or maybe even different. I might find some new things within this piece. So here we go. Starting with Heejin, uh, her music video and her dance practice. our it girl our center and the face of the group man oh my gosh it's been so long since i watched this I will say I I wasn't a fan of this song before, but now listening to it, it's like I like how jazzy it feels. And I think it's because of the piano playing. It's like an organ or electric piano, I don't know. Okay, I actually don't really remember like how this works, the, the universe at least, the Luniverse. But I don't know what the spider is for. I don't know, is there something with this spider? I, I don't really know what the, the lore is behind this, but yeah, I don't know, someone tell me. <laughs> Anyways. I'm starting to realize how kind of sad the lyrics are. Like she talks about how like I don't want to become numb towards myself and you know every scene where it's like gray or, or grayscale, um, it almost feels like 
she's just locked in entire for her entire life until up to this point or something like that in a way like this song has a mellow or or mancolic like context to it but the song doesn't feel that way at all it actually feels a lot more happy and fun one two Honestly, every time I think of spiders now, I think of Dreamcatcher. <laughs> I, I think of Dreamcatcher now, like ever since like the whole spider thing, like kind of it was what set the the whole lore of Dreamcatcher as well. But I mean, anyways, you know, thinking about it now, I I, I feel like I really understand why Heejin is is center, and I think that's just because like she has. A lot of charisma right from the get-go of her her performance in this music video and hopefully we get to see more about that but I think just the way she has that face she has the center face of the group of Luna and I, I think that's kind of like why she takes so many lines sometimes from and I'm unnecessarily at some points and I'm like BBC why like, won't you give some lines to to like V or go on or even hustle for God's sakes. All right, so we're gonna be checking out the choreography this time, and some things that I'm kind of expecting is a more conversational type of choreography. I think, like with this song, there's a lot of moments where she it almost feels like she's like exploring her vicin her vicinity or kind of. Um, gauging off or, or kind of like exuding her aura in, or, or, or her presence into the choreography. So I'm not sure if there's going to be that much going on in the choreography, but I don't know how deep the movement would even tie into the Luniverse. At least surface level, we might find some things uh, in the choreography. So here it is. Yeah, there's like already Let's talk about like running away or hiding and also play with like a, a rabbit Again like surface level like wordplay that wait she drew something I don't know what that was uh... okay she was just drawing the colors but at the same time like her dancers were just activating off of those points okay so you know I don't know <laughs> again like I don't know how it almost I almost thought she just drew a star but I'm guessing like that little is like the the point the point dance of the choreography or in this case like in music we just call that the hook of the song and it seems like she's just draw or I don't know padding like layers of the rainbow she talks about rainbows and like different colors a lot and so like maybe that's kind of the intention behind it it's really interesting but like I just the, the way that kind of grooves into that it's very, it's very, very fun. And at the same, in, in some points, like this, this choreography has uh, a lot of, well, not a lot, but maybe like minor moments of like sassiness. 
even just the way she like uh, exudes her facial expressions at certain times. But it's really, it's, re it's a really fun choreography, I would say. Like that part. Even the way she sung it. Na, 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 na. at it now it's like like I, I honestly I'm paying more attention to like her expressions because I feel like that's kind of the selling point of this choreography or at least with this whole dance because um, I mean like the choreography like yeah it's still creative it has its blocking moments but I think what really captures me the most is obviously going to be Heejin but just the way she uh, performs or sets herself on stage but I think in terms of expressions, like I feel Heejin is just still like on the verge of like pushing or feeling the need to push even more to like feel out those moments. I guess that's kind of like what I'm what's going in my mind right now. But anyways. I love that part a lot. What is that part actually? Like this little shoulder squeak. Ah, so all day I'm left. Okay, got you. I feel like that's such a... I don't know what it is, but I know there's this. And so I'm guessing that's kind of where that shoulder like thing comes from. But yes, now this part, this is a monologue moment. And again, like when we're going to rainbows or, or kind of filling in the, the canvas, the empty canvas with color, roll offs are gonna be apparent like with these dancers here. It just feels like a walking monologue or, or conversation with this type of choreography at least. I love that move. Again, like not really a roll off, but it is like a spread. And we even started from this position as well, I believe, right? So we're starting with like an ABA type of scenario here. Yeah, very, yeah. We start and end in the same position, but again, yeah, like so motifs that we kind of really saw with this choreography or with this song like the concept is really like painting the world with color at least that's kind of my interpretation of it and so with choreography you have 
you know, slight wordplay, but a lot of, you know, conversational elements to this. And that's usually when like Heejin's not dancing at all. And we have formations that kind of uh, create rainbow or, or roll offs in a way. Like rainbows it, or roll offs is kind of the correlation to the rainbows that we see in the choreography. But uh, I don't know. I, I it's like what can you even do with you know painting colors or what what's the main hook? And then all of a sudden they just decide to like pad in layers of the rainbow. I think that's kind of it's really catchy. It, it's cat. It's it's weird, but it's catchy to me. But I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought was unique or something I didn't catch. And of course, you know, if you did like this video, please feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, and also turn on notifications so you don't miss another uh, Luna video. With that said, thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. So peace out and stay eating.